Hello and welcome to another episode of our weekly crafting TV show. Later we'll be joined by the lovely Becky James and she'll be showing us some really clever techniques using the X-cut palm punches. But first I wanted to show you another one of Becky's projects. It actually features as a workshop in the new issue of Creativity Magazine, that's the July issue. Um, and here's the card. Uh, it's actually using the X-cut uh, embossing pen, which is very clever. It's got sort of four different sizes of embossing heads and in the workshop you'll find out all about how to use it. Um, but one of the things I particularly like about it is the tiny little punched flower detail to a large flower here, which I really like. Right, let's get on with today's project. Hi Becky, thanks for coming along today. Hi Katie, it's lovely to be with you here again. Good. Right, what are we going to do today? Well today we're going to look at the um, new X-cut palm punches yes. and we're going to do uh, a variety of things which are shown on the cards at the front. Lots of techniques. We are good. going to um, do some making some frames, making some toppers and then we're also going to look at how you can use your punches to do sort of a white on white effect. Ooh. Now what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to cut the smallest shape and that's okay. this, in this case, it's the medium star. Okay. And we're just going to punch that out. And then this is the other benefit of these is I can take the, um, the larger one and I can line that up so that I can see where my frame is going to be. Perfect. And I'll just look over the top to do that so I'll get a nice line up. And then all I do, punch that out. And oh, there you go, great. you get your little frame. That's really good. Um, I'm going to just show you, I've got a little dimensional section in the front there as well, in the middle of this, and so I'm just going to, this is the medium circle. The other advantage of working upside down, oh. of course, is you can do it on any little yeah. tiny scrap of card, Absolutely. can't you? You not worry about lining it up or anything. Absolutely. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get my Paper Mania piercing mat, which is one of my must-haves, really, really useful, especially for shaping things. You'll see I use it a couple of times in okay. this video. And I've got a, this um, shaping tool, which actually gives me a little sort of, um, a little sort of uh, 3D embellishment. Oh, that looks really good. Just that well. sort of subtle sort of doming there. Absolutely. That looks really good. And then the next thing that we're going to do is just very, very quickly punch a little star to go in the centre. There we go. And this is showing how you can layer up all those all those um, those uh, shapes so that you get that nesting effect yeah. as well. But I'm just going to get a bit of scrap paper here. So I'm going to use my glue dots um, to stick this on. So we're just going to pop that on there. And the um, stick it little squares are perfect to go in the centre of here, so we're just going to put one of those on there. That's good. Smooth that into the centre. And then I'm just going to pop a little blob of hot melt glue into the centre so it sits on oh, there. Oh, that looks fantastic. And just to finish that off, a couple of little things, and this is this is essentially your topper. This is the kind of thing that you can make in, in like, 15 20 minutes it's it's that easy i'm a big fan of the quick quick cards definitely yeah and then we've just got um this is one of the paper mania uh center die cut sentiments they're great for everything aren't they, they are they are so there we go so Brilliant. very very simple quite masculine any occasion Fantastic. really so good good we'll pop that to one side before you move on to the next one i've actually had a question oh, about yeah. punches uh come uh, through to our email address at tv at docrafts.com and this time it's from uh, miriam in norwich hi miriam hi miriam and she asks what's the best way to line up my punches now i think she's probably thinking about maybe making some borders with her punches so have you got right. any top tips for that one okay there's a couple of things that i i could suggest that you do um First is, if you've got your card, say, and you want to um, get them equidistant mm -hmm. along here, what you could do is, because you can look from underneath with these, is you could actually mark where you want them to be at what interval. Okay. So you could do that and line that up with the centre of your punch. Or the other thing that you can do is to actually use this edge. So you punch once, move it along, and then to the so edge. So you know it's always yeah. going to be a fixed Absolutely. distance. Absolutely. That's a great idea. So, but the other thing I can show you is how to line up your ribbon oh, punches as well. Oh, that's a great well. design. So that, like that yeah, one. so that you, um, they're all equidistant apart. So again, I'm using it upside down so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to 
punch one. And then what I do is I actually move my punch along until I can see one of the holes oh, in, I see. in the So you're lining the up the, the first yeah. one with the last yeah, one again. Yeah, exactly. And just move along. And just move along. And so you see oh, I get I see. a very even distribution of the of the um, holes. But again, if you if you want them a little bit wider along, just line them up to the edge of the I see. Yep. As it comes out of the uh, comes out of the little gap there. Brilliant. That's great. Okay. Well, I hope that's answered your question. Okay then. So what's next? Right, the next thing that we're going to do is to make the cute little um, sort of 1950s retro style ah. dress on the front of uh, this card here. That's very cute. And this uses all three sizes of the heart, the traditional okay. heart um, punch, which is this one here. So what you're going to do is you're going to need one, um, one of the medium hearts and one of the small hearts. Now the pattern paper I've used here is the, the polka dot pack in the capsule um, festive this the, Yeah, the festive one, yeah. this is brilliant. And then I've also got four of the large hearts. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to shape these just by folding them down the centre and then we're just going to pinch it in a little bit, push down and then you get a little shaped heart there. Lovely, I love how you make the, the give, add a little bit of dimension to all these punch shapes. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it, just, it just brings them to life really, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is just pop Start with the um, the bodice of the dress. So we're going to pop the little heart, okay. um, the medium heart, and then we're going to top it with the little one. So that's a uh, now. So lovely. I'm not going to do this now, but what you will see, um, you'll see on the front of the card is I've actually decorated it as well with some pearls to give it a little oh, bit of I embellishment so on the top. The, the neckline yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. Right now then. What we're going to do is start making the, the, the skirt of the dress. And what I'm doing is, if you just see, I'm putting a little bit of the hot melt glue right in the okay. apex of the, the heart, pop that on there and push down. And we're, we're making it towards the, the V part I of the, the bodice. Now, it doesn't matter if you, um, if you end up with a few little bits of the glue floating around because we're going to cover up the centre anyway with a, a button to make it look like it's got like a little buckle Lovely. on the dress. And the next thing we do, next one, and then you push that in place, um, but overlap, uh, if you actually overlap the, oh, the, the yeah. edges of the heart. You might have to hold it down for a second just whilst it, it sets, the glue sets. There we go. Fantastic. And so that that is your little your little dress. And Brilliant. as I say, you can add little embellishments with gems and things like that if you want to. Right, now the final one that we're going to move on to is actually white on white. This is a very, very sophisticated look. And it must be this one. It is. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, so that would be perfect for wedding invitations. Absolutely. Or wedding card or, yeah. or anything like that. It's an ideal wedding idea. Yeah. I've started off, I've done this already because obviously we'd be stood here for a while yep. sticking these all around. But I've got a background piece here. Yep. And this is, I think it's three and a half centimetre, three and a half inches square. So that's a, a good starting point. Yes. And I've actually just stuck them all the way around. And of course, we'll have all the instructions for all of Becky's projects at uh, docrafts.com as well. So you can find step-by-step -step, uh, instructions and photos and so on, close-ups of the project. So do take a look at that as well um, after you finish watching. All right. So what we're actually going to do, I've got here, this is the medium size. And a bit like I did earlier on with the circle, all I'm going to do is get the ball end tool and just and roll it. Keep going until it's and, until you're happy with and it. And basically the, the petals just lift themselves up to give you that dimension. And I think for this style, dimension is quite important. So the next thing that we're going to do is, having done this, I've got then a mirroring with the larger, okay. the larger um, petal punches. So what I'm going to do with these, just a little bit of glue underneath, and I'm going to put these round the edges. Ah, I see. Yeah. I'm not going to put one, bother putting one in the centre because our main sentiment is going to go in the centre. Of course, yeah, you'd be hiding it. Yeah. Best thing to do, put the corners in first and then you can make sure everything's fairly central in between them. Good. Very quickly, we're going to add the sentiment in the middle. And again, this is one of the Paper Mania die cut sentiments. 
perfect for this this style of brilliant cloth. and then we're just going to take and I'm just going to shape again just shape a couple of the butterflies and then we're going to be finished and that that'll be it now obviously you can leave it play absolutely plain white like this which is very effective in itself definitely or you could just get some of the um, paper mania yeah, we'll adhesive them, pearls and pop, pop those in as we have in the card that's at the front. Fantastic. So that's beautiful. Two different but very elegant looks. Beautiful. Okay, lovely. there you go. Thank so you that's so much. Tip. Thank you and for sharing all those lovely techniques. That's fine, no problem at Brilliant. all. If you've enjoyed Becky's uh, episode today and, and enjoyed looking at her projects and you create something with punches, why not send us an email to tv at docrafts.com and share your project with us. We may even feature it on a future episode. Uh, until next time, happy crafting.